In this video, we are going to export a model from Blender to Unreal Engine 5 so we can use it in the engine. Today, I have this Counter-Strike model and I want to export it to Unreal Engine 5 so I can use it in the engine. And I can imagine you have your own model since you're watching this video and you want to learn how to export from Blender to Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. First off, you have to make sure that the pivot point is centered to the world so you can see this pivot point I have here is centered to the world. This is very important so you can move it correctly in the engine. And the next thing to know is in Unreal Engine, the X axis is the forward axis. So your character or your model has to face the X axis in order to be in the correct orientation. So let's take the rotation tool. Just make sure you have selected your model, select all of it. And I'm going to click and drag, hold control so it snaps. And just here, 90 degrees. And you can see the axis up here. I can see this is the X axis going this way. So now my model is facing the correct way. Now in object mode, go ahead and select your model. And by the way, if you have multiple models, the best way to do it is exporting every single model by itself and not selecting everything because exporting the model one by one will give you the best results in Unreal Engine compared to how it calculates shadow and lighting. If you're interested in similar tutorials or full game development courses, you can take a look at my website, pixelhelmet.com. In there, I have a lot of free material, a lot of free in-depth courses, so you can take a look and see if something interests you. So let's go ahead and select our model. Go to File, Export, FBX, and then select a folder you want to save to. I'm just going to save it in my Downloads folder. Down here in the Transform, you have to set the forward axis to X axis. Again, in Unreal Engine, the X axis is the forward axis and the Z axis is the up axis. Then you have to go to Geometry and here you have to set the smoothing to Face. This will ensure that the, the correct smoothing is on here. And that was it. Go ahead and click on Export on FBX. Of course, just give it a name if you, if you have to. So export the FBX. Let's go ahead and launch Unreal Engine. Maybe you have your own project you want to upload this model to. In here, I'm just going to make a new project. So clicking on the Games tab, Blank Project. And I'm just going to call it Blender to UE5 and go ahead and click on create on the project. Inside the engine, I'm going to click on the content drawer and I'm just going to click on dock in layout so I have this tab open all the time. I'm going to go back here in my downloads folder where I saved my model and then just click and drag this into the content browser. Or the second method you can do is just right click out here and go ahead and click on import to game and just select your model. Again, mine is in the downloads folder and you can import it like this as well. So for my character, I'm going to import the skeletal mesh and importing the mesh as well. And down here, you can choose if the textures and materials also should be imported. I'm just going to let it be like this. And I don't really have animations right now, so this is unticked. I'm going to click on import all and you can see now I have imported my model. Now you can see this, is, this error appears for characters if the bones are missing. So I'm going actually to delete it again, hit delete on my keyboard. Just click on File, Save All, and right-click Fix Up Redirectories in Folder just to make sure there are no errors. I'm going to go back to my folder, drag it in, and then just make sure here in the Advanced tab, I'm going to click on Use T0 as Reference Pose. And then I'm going to click on Import All, and you can see my character is now imported. Now I can drag this mesh, and now I can use it inside of the viewport inside of Unreal Engine 5. So this is how you import uh, models from Blender to Unreal Engine 5. Okay, that was it. So if you're interested in knowing how to create an animation blueprint for this character or your own character or any other subject, please let me know down in the comments below. And also remember to hit the like button if this video helped you and subscribe if you're interested in similar uh, Unreal Engine tutorials so you're not missing my future videos. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you'll have a nice day.